Hi there. This video is slightly different to the norm. It's uh, not building the, uh, the Fisher Youngster and it's not flying the Cub. It's actually replacing the side screens on the, the Cub. So join me and I'll show you how I do it. Come on now. Okay, uh, so I've taken the hardware uh, off the uh, off this side window. Um, I'll show, show you the problems we've got. Don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but there's uh, quite a crack there. It sort of split open fa fairly well. Uh, it's cracked down here. There's a a chafing line here where I've been flying with the door open and it's uh, just rubbed slightly on the on the aircraft skin there's another crack here and there's a corner missing here which actually should be rounded off another crack uh, there's a few bits and pieces uh, on on these uh, seat side screens now which uh, considering I fly around with the uh, with them open take off and land quite often with them open and uh, they've seen a little bit of life uh, in the aircraft now and they're only very very thin uh, material uh, if I can't remember what it is um, I'm just going to measure it up uh, one mil so one millimeter thick uh, transparency material um, and yeah, they get buffeted by the by the airflow I don't think they've done too badly so I've got the hardware off this off off the two sides because I'm going to do both of them together I'm just going to drill out the uh, the rivets he's a large head eighth rivet so the head's quite quite large I am doing a slight change to the way it was originally fitted uh, it was originally fitted with like a, a clear double-sided tape um, underneath but that doesn't seem to have worked as well as I, I liked I don't think um, it sort of allowed the whole system to quilt between the rivets it sort of goes so it goes up and down because the rivet isn't producing enough pressure to flatten out that, uh, that tape so I'm going to do something a little bit different I'm going to use um, clear silicon uh, sealant between so hopefully this will flatten now so I won't have those little kinky bits uh, and I'm going to use a clear silicon also through the holes to uh, stop the tails from rattling up and down the door because I don't want the tails rattling around inside so once I've drilled this off and um, just before I fit this a lot I'll put silicon down through the holes to hopefully catch uh, the, the rivet tails uh, and then I'll put a thin silicon bead all the way around uh, to bed this on. So I'll, uh, I'll start off by uh, drilling the heads off these. Now luckily the way these, these break off, these are, are brake head rivets, so in other words you don't have a tail sticking all the way, uh, all the way through, it should be uh, relatively easy, uh, he says, to just drill the head off. And uh, I use slightly oversized drill for doing this. Uh, so I just go down. Issue is uh, sometimes they start rotating like that one. There you go, and the head comes off. That one I'll probably be able to punch the head off because it's only aluminium, so. Uh,
because it's rotating I'm at an angle like this it just helps to uh, cut so the head comes off anyway I'll crack on and go all the way around and I'll use this piece of uh, the material to uh, act as a template for the other because it, it worked quite well the cutouts um, work pretty well that one's sort of broken out uh, I can do the, the cutout so I can get the pins in and uh, I'll, uh, I'll peel this loss up and uh, clean it up so catch you in a bit okay so uh, here's the frame with the uh, transparency removed uh, I'm peeling this uh, double-sided tape off it's a bit of a pain doesn't, doesn't like coming off it uh, definitely sort of sticks there quite uh, quite quite well uh, you can sort of see the dirt edges which will need to be wiped out and then uh, all I do is I, I go along and I with a file not, not, not getting it too low so, so it touches, so it touches the, uh, the paintwork that's for sure I don't want to doing that but any of these which feel a little bit too high I just file, file it off and then 3.2 1 8th drill actually just uh, drill that uh, gets the, the rivet tail inside you don't remove too much metal that way um, and then the whole lot is, is cleaned with uh, 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 an alcohol uh, I'm, I'm actually using uh, denatured alcohol uh, so, and you end up with, uh, in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I prepared earlier, you end up with a frame that's all nice and clean like that. Already I'll give that a, a, a degrease just before uh, I put the, the silicon onto it and that way it will, uh, the silicon will stick. Uh, and there we go, so I'll just finish this one off and then uh, uh, I'll start playing with uh, the transparencies, getting uh, getting those ready to uh, ready to fit. <coughs> okay, so here we are. <coughs> it's time to uh, to make up uh, the side screen sections. Let's cut. Very slightly oversized and slightly different shape. Whereas, uh, <coughs> my first uh, bit that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, drill some holes and uh, skin pin this together. So I want to keep it fairly flat. I'm using quite a blunt drill actually and I'm drilling it out to uh, 3.5 millimeters despite the fact the rivets are eighth so 3.2 millimeters in diameter because you need that clearance otherwise you end up stressing uh, the plastic and you can have a, an issue Uh, on cold days or hot days when it uh, changes temperature it, uh, it can cause aggravation around the rivets so and get cracks that way so uh, I've got those two in I'm going to drill all the rivets around the perimeter I'm missing out this hole I'm going to back drill that through the, the, the frame uh, once this is mounted you can really see the, the cracking thing showing up now with the, uh, with the white background of the, uh, the new sheet let's move it around just move it out of the way around get rid of that wall make sure you get rid of the, the right. so 
when it's all set up like that I'm going to use a very sharp uh, knife blade uh, this one needs to have a, a, a bit of a rule at the end there because it's uh, the corners come off although I will be putting a 45 on there so it clears the uh, clears the door on the cup that it's it's a whoops it's a case of do a light score all the way down I got the uh, the old one on top so if I do wonder like I just did the, uh, the new stuff is protected And as this is only one millimetre thick, it uh, makes life so much easier. But there we go. Looks all nice and flexible. You could do all these twiddly bits, but you uh, leave this out in the sun. Yeah, we can put a nice kink into it. Leave it out in the sun for a time and things like that. It, it starts to uh, harden up with the UV. And uh, it's. Uh, on cold days, you'd be surprised how uh, how brittle it can get as well. And as I fly, tend to fly all year round. Let me just put that a different way so it's easy for me to uh, to cut. Uh, as I fly all the year round, that's why I'm changing the screens because these have started to crack up now. They're only going to get worse in the cold winter weather it's all relatively speaking isn't it cold it's going to be here in the UK uh, we don't get or haven't been getting cold winter weather at least not the way I remember it uh, back in the day so there is an argument I suppose for climate change with that but uh, In winter time, we used to have here in, in uh, the east of England in Norfolk. We used to have uh, snow, and uh, every winter, uh, and it was a it was a, a thing you could you could uh, gamble on for Christmas. Yeah, it was going to be snow at Christmas. Uh, but in this modern day and age. It appears that the answer is probably not. Uh, anyway, uh, now it's effectively cut to size. Uh, I will take take this corner off here, uh, and I'll do that. It's you with a pair of very sharp uh, tin snips that I'm using. Uh, I have got my workshop uh, quite warm at the moment to help keep the, uh, the plastic relatively flexible just nipping off the corners and uh, I'll use a standard file OK, 
peeling this in I want it to stay out of the way so when I put it onto the uh, the frame it's, it stays out of the way ready to go. Now uh, the frame, <coughs> I'm afraid to say uh, I've uh, done a little bit of work on it before you, uh, you see it here. What, what I've done is, uh, oh I'm just cleaning it up, um, I have uh, injected silicon into each of these holes and then given the whole thing a good rattle around, shake around so that uh, we have very few if, uh, loose tails floating around in there so it makes life just a little bit uh, easier I would say so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going, I'm going to put a thin line of silicon all the way around there, silicon sealant uh, uh, for the fun of it, and uh, rather than using the tape method which uh, was originally used so excuse me while I uh, practice my cake piping I don't quite like to start there let's wipe that off see why I'm not the baking trade Sorry for not talking very much while I'm doing this, but that's in case it's not my, uh, not my forte. Try to keep a constant speed and a line. It's not easy. Well, it might first appear. There. Always a bit that just causes the vibration. Yeah. Uh, that's that. I'll just move that over there out of the way for a bit. Screw up the frame. Take this sight. Right. Two minutes in. I can stay stuck back. Right. That one's going in that hole. And that one's going in that hole. There we go. Ah, that's definitely what I didn't want to see. But we're lucky. It doesn't seem to have affected the silicon. Right. So that's now in position. I will uh, get that protective covering. And I'll just work around sticking the rivets in.
deep in the centre to start off with of each side and I can see the silicon squashing out a bit so uh, here we go all the rivets are now in and uh, turn it over I've got a little bit of uh, silicon's just smeared out over there that won't be too bad it'll come off and I'm going to back drill this hole that's the most frightening one of all because should it go wrong and it will crack that's the uh, yeah that screen uh, messed up and uh, so now it's just a case of uh, putting in the, uh, the door latch so that hangs down this little fellow goes on that way and I just need to make sure I put the right number of washers on there looks like two let's get rid of the plastic film that's uh, decided it's going to it's always away is it Two thin stainless steel washers on. Check through and then uh, it's just a case of trying to fit a roll pin and I, I, I must admit roll pins are not my, my favourite. Seems to line it up. Roll pins in. I'll put shall take. And uh, there we go. A job to do. Uh, it's now ready to uh, to go back and be fitted on the cub. Just got uh, just took, got two pins that go through the hinges, and uh, they're held in with uh, split pins. So makes life nice and easy. There we go. Well, that was a bit different uh, working on my Sherwood Cub side screens. Hope you enjoyed the video there. And uh, you'll see them, uh, no doubt, in future flying videos. So <laughs> look after yourselves, keep fit, and I'll catch you again. Bye now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.